Hi everyone, so welcome to Naresh Technologies, this is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss one interview question in Core Java. So, that is, can we define a main method inside the abstract class? Alright, so the question is, question, can we define main method inside abstract class? Inside abstract class. And here, so what is abstract class? The class so which is not having a full definition. So, nothing but is a partial definition of object. So, two types of methods allowed concrete methods and as well as a abstract methods we know that right. Suppose, if there is a class is a class names so anything we can write is a test. So, inside that class test, so there is one method the so method is a m 1 method. So, m 1 method is having definition just empty definition I am writing empty definition. So, what type of method it is? It is a concrete method. So, concrete method means the method which is having definition is called a concrete method. Okay. For example, here it is if you are writing any method and it is not defined it is a blank it is a blank such type of methods we should define it as an abstract methods no definition no definition if any class is having abstract methods the class is also you should define it as abstract class abstract class as we know this. But now the question is sir can we define main method inside the abstract class here public static void main and here string args and inside a message we are writing system dot out dot println abstract class main method is a main method a message we are writing message. So, whenever you compile and run this application no compile time error and uh, no run time error also the reason it is allowed okay. inside the abstract class it is allowed to define the main method sir why sir the reason main method is a static method how can we access static methods using class name how can we access non static methods using object address but see here it is a non static method and non static method if you want to access non static methods object is required but of course we cannot create object for abstract class directly because it was not fully defined all right so we cannot create but to access the static method object is not required so static members of abstract class you can access directly using class name sir who will call main method jvm call the main method so jvm also no need to instantiate the class to access main method okay so abstract class can have a main method and uh, JVM invokes the main method automatically because main method is a static method static functionality of abstract class we can access directly. Okay. So, this is so about uh, the question. So, hope you understood well for more videos please subscribe to Naresh channel. Thank you. Thank you all.